Today I'm preparing crepes, purple crepes, made with Sun Taba purple corn and with the added health benefit of grapeseed oil, which is a cold pressed grapeseed oil from Northern California. I believe it's the Sonoma area and it's made from Chardonnay grape seeds. So it has a very distinctive flavor of its own. And I'm going to place that there. Now the crepes are very easy. If you've made crepes before, you can use a blender. I'm using a Vitamix. I'm going to add to the Vitamix two large eggs. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of milk and the flour and the purple corn mixture. Now I have one cup of flour and I've removed two tablespoons of this flour and in its place I'm adding the purple corn flour. I'm going to add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. This is a pretty substantial amount of oil so it's very nice if you have four portions each person will have a half of a tablespoon of a wonderful grapeseed oil. Now the mixture is quite blended. It looks rather thick. I may add just a touch more of milk to it because it looks a little too thick. It's almost as thick as a cake batter right now. I'm going to add two more tablespoons of milk to that mixture and then I'm going to re The consistency should be similar to a pancake mix, to a light pancake mix. So it should be rather thin. This looks pretty good right now. I'm going to take this mixture and let it rest in a bowl for a half an hour in the refrigerator. But after I tasted the batter, I realized that it needed a little bit of a sweetener added to it between the corn, which is has a nice flavor, but it's not sweet, and the grapeseed oil. Uh, it's a little more savory than sweet, and since I am making a sweet uh, dessert with it, I'm going to add one teaspoon of evaporated cane sugar. There you go. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. I have an actual crepe pan here, a little small, like a five inch. We have our batter. You can see the texture. It's It's not too thick. It's not too thin. I'm going to brush the pan with a little mel melted butter. You cook the crepe until it's about, starts to maybe bubble a little, similar to a pancake. And I'll show you right here. This is a finished one. This will work out perfectly. You have to keep in mind that it does have purple corn flour in it, so it won't be as light as a flour-based crepe. I notice it's a little bit browned at the edge, and this is what you're looking for. You're on a medium to high flame. That's about done. I'm going to lay it out onto the pan, start all over again. The next step to the crepes is the uh, filling, which is going to be berries. I'm taking a preserve. This is plum. You can use raspberry, you can use cherry, you can use berry. I try to use a red colored preserves. Let it melt a little. If you really wanted to dress it up, you could add a little bit of uh, Chambord or some other type of berry liqueur. I'm going to add fresh raspberries to this and blueberries. I'm just going to let it cook a little. It takes less than a minute. Okay, I'm going to take a crepe and I'm going to fill it with a couple of the berries. Fold it in half, that's fine. Take another crepe, fill it with a couple of tablespoons of berries. Again, fold it in half, garnish the crepe with the rest of the berries, and at this point you can use actual fresh berries if you don't feel like using cooked berries. You can use fresh berries. 
that I'm going to top it off with just a touch of whipped cream. And a little bit of powdered sugar. There you go. Crepes. Berry crepes.